Hey guys, this is a quick follow-up to my video on how to send a raw HTTP request message to a web server using Python. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually make a request of a server that uses uh, HTTPS for its protocol. In other words, it uses an SSL slash TLS certificate. So let's take a look at my modified raw http.python script, which I've named raw underscore https.py. You'll notice that it's very similar to the previous one, but we have a few important differences. To begin with, we have declared another library that needs to be imported, the SSL library. I've moved these host values and port values out into variables because I'm going to be reusing them several times throughout the code and I didn't want to have to keep retyping it. The next thing we did was we declared something called a context. This context variable is an SSL context that tells it what protocol is being used. In this case, even though we refer to most websites as using SSL, they're actually most of them using TLS version 1. So we declare the SSL context as protocol TLS v1. We then create our socket just like we did before in the other one. But in this case, we wrap the socket using the context we created. This demonstrates that a TLS connection to a web server is nothing more than a wrapper around a traditional uh, TCP IP connection. So we tell it to wrap the context and this is where we specify the host name and that's using the variable I declared up here and the socket that we declared and opened here. Next we connect just like we did before to the host but this time it's on port 443. We then send the exact same request we were sending before encoded as bytes and we're using the same code here to get back the data from the web server. Lastly, we close out the connection. You'll notice that we're at, we were using the s.receive and s.close. We're now receiving against the wrapped socket and closing the wrapped socket. So this is what it would look like to modify your code to be able to connect via HTTPS to a web server. So let's run it and see what happens. As you can see, we get back an HTTP 1.1 response with a 200 OK followed by a new line saying we successfully requested the document and the server processed it successfully and returned our response. And those are followed by a series of header fields and so on until we get down to the document itself, which is specified by two carriage return line feed pairs. And from this point on, we have our actual HTML document. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, this is just to demonstrate that an HTTPS request is nothing more than an HTTP request that's just been wrapped in TLS encoding.